Support for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB Fiber Optics and Blood Assurance. Pretty much as soon as I could pick up a pencil or a crayon, I would start scribbling on something, whether it's a wall or whatever, but uh, I was always a busy little kid. I was always into something. My parents were worried if I was quiet. Both my grandmothers were artists. And my father was an inventor. He had to be very innovative. You know, we had 10 kids, and so he was always making things. And I, at four years old, was playing in his wood shop, and he was rebuilding uh, Corvettes and, and wooden station wagons and stuff. So I mastered the art of woodworking and uh, drill press and uh, sanding, and even learned fiberglass at a very young age probably knew fiberglass before I even knew how to ride a bicycle. I was the kid that got in trouble for not only being the class clown but not paying attention because we had these tilt-up desks and put a little prop under it and um, I'd, I'd be making something inside there where my teacher couldn't see me or play with beads or something or take the end off an ink pen and stick a bunch of bobby pins up it and make a little robot and uh, I was always drawing, so they sent me out in the hall. In high school, um, my art teachers really recognized that I could do not just small things, but large things. And so uh, that kind of became my mantra. I want to do large things. I thought I was going to go into art education and uh, instead I started out in political science and journalism and uh, worked at newspapers in the summer and worked my way through college as a photojournalist. I eventually turned everything over to engineering and architecture and um, combining a skill I was actually born with, with uh, the technical side of it, I was able to meld it into something that worked out. I started working in theaters and wherever I could be around entertainment. Ended up doing lights and sound and, and I got in the right place at the right time and was discovered and um, Disney picked me up and that pretty much launched it right there. I've worked on a lot of Disney movies in promotion. Little Mermaid, 101 Dalmatians, I Shrunk the Kids, I worked on the Dick Tracy movie. A lot of old Disney rides, design and development of Epcot Center, Pleasure Island, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Playground, Pirates of the Caribbean, Muppets 3D Theater, Tower of Terror, The Tree of Life. Basically, you're combining art with engineering and you're, you're taking the idea that um, there are no problems, there are only opportunities and solutions. And given that, um, creativity is a big monster. Uh, once it starts rolling, it gets huge. Uh, this is a standard, what they call Maypo parts catalog. And it's uh, basically standard parts. And the, the reason it's standard parts is because it originally was used universally throughout the parks for all the auto animatronics, so almost anything that was used, whether it's in the Haunted Mansion or any ride, it's a small world, um, it's in this catalog. This is a book of um, characters, and these are called turnaround drawings. And basically, before you sculpt any character, you have to do turnaround drawings. You start out with basic shapes to draw these characters, and it's pretty uniform. Donald, these are how to draw Donald Duck by Walt Disney. These are all 
um, the original characters that he came up with. Walt's theory was that he didn't want to hold anybody back. And so the idea that if you could dream it, you could build it, is something I've lived by my whole life. And I've never let anything stop me from doing it yet. Coming to Chattanooga was a kind of an exodus for me. I saw how much Chattanooga had changed and how it was growing. And I thought, you know, the foundation's being laid right now. Um, I'd like to be one of the cornerstones. So I'm going there and I'm gonna put my energy and my love into that community. And uh, my passion right now is helping Chattanooga to become the next Paris. And I think we're well on our way. People laugh at that, but I, I don't. I think we have the greatest resources and talent here that there can be found anywhere. And I've worked all over the world. I still go travel and do projects, but I actually came here to serve people. And so I think my role here um, has become more important to me than my whole role at Disney. Right now I work with a lot of underprivileged children and I work with gifted kids and I work with kids with autism and Asperger's and I tutor and I still lecture at universities and I travel the STEM school circuit and um, my goal is to keep the imagination and the dreams alive in children. There's some creativity in every one of us and so I try to make everything that I do make an impact whether it's teaching, whether it's making a piece of art. It's been a great life, and it's not over yet. As long as I'm being useful, I'm going to be here. And I hope I make a lot of people smile. If you're a fan of Greater Chattanooga, support it. Becoming a sustaining member of WTCI is easy and affordable, and it makes a big difference. Visit greaterchattanooga.org slash donate. Thanks.